These are just some of the newly arrived residents of Mosul who have fled this city. We are at a United Nations refugee camp about 20 kilometers south of Mosul, and this is the scene here. What is happening is that those who have been able to flee, they are screened. What the authorities are trying to do is make sure that the men and the young men were not fighting for ISIS. And when those questions are answered, families are reunited and they're brought to this UN transit camp about 20 kilometers south of Mosul. What's happening with the buses is that the new arrivals are coming off. They're being registered here at the camp. They might stay here for a couple of days. And then people who have been here for a while are being taken to a number of aid agency camps in the region. It just stopped raining here. Conditions are very, very terrible. But the refugees, the displaced people I've been speaking to are saying they're very grateful that they're here because, of course, they're now being given food and they're not living under war. I've been speaking to all kinds of people who have fled ISIS. They were telling me about the ordeal that they lived through under the last two years in terms of living under ISIS. Men had to keep their beards trimmed at a certain level, while women were not allowed to uh, go out onto the streets alone without a male relative. I spoke to one family telling me about just the terrible living conditions, dire conditions in terms of food and water. It got so bad that near the end, before the Iraqi army arrived, they had to burn the family's furniture in order to create an oven to bake bread. Derek Stoffel, CBC News, at a UN camp south of Mosul.